This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We would like to welcome you to this celebration of marriage. I know I'm grateful and I know that you are too to have the privilege to be a part of this special day in the life of Kristen and Kyle. For we have gathered on this day to worship God and to offer praises and thanksgiving for the blessings in their lives. We offer praise for the blessings of fulfilled dreams and for prayers that have been answered and for the proof of God's unending love. For those of you who don't know her that well, Kristen is not just a pretty face. She is many things. Of all things, she is driven. She graduated at the top of her class, not only in high school, but then again in the College of Textiles at NC State. She's also an all-around athlete. Kristen and I had the privilege of playing soccer and tennis for two years together in high school. She also balanced that with cheerleading, a sport which we did not share a talent for. Some of you may not know this, but sometimes she would combine gymnastics with soccer and do a front handspring throw-in at our soccer games and launch the ball about a mile. It's an incredible thing to see, this girl flipping through the air, and then the ball is just gone, and it always threw the other team off guard. You know, I so enjoyed when we met and you each talked about the other. You each complimented one another in the same way that those mentioned in the Corinthians passage. Kyle talked about how with Kristen, he loved her motivation, her drive. He loved that they had similar backgrounds. He said, I, I love that she has a great family. 
and that she's so much fun. Similarly, Kristen talked about how Kyle comes from a wonderful family and he has a sense of calmness to him. He communicates well with her and she talked about how she felt secure in the relationship because he assures her and he reaffirms his feelings for her all the time. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Take you, Kristen. To be my wife. To be my wife. And I promise. And I promise. Before God and these witnesses. And before God and these witnesses. To be your loving. To be your loving. And faithful husband. And faithful husband. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For as long as we both shall For as long as I, Kristen, take you, Kyle, to be my husband. And I promise, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful wife. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. In sickness, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall be. Um, but one thing with Kyle and I, we never lost touch. We saw each other on birthdays, we visited each other when we moved to new states. Um, you know, but there was something different. The last time Kyle visited me, and that was when he visited me for my birthday in Denver, Colorado. Um, kind of struck me right away. You know, there was something different about it, something gleam in his eye, whatever, whatever you would like to call it. But I've really never seen a happiness from Kyle that I saw that weekend. Um, and it was because he had finally found Kristen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Robert Koleski. Kristen, your brother and sister, your mom and I, as well as everyone here who is part of your life are very proud of you and love you very much. You become an amazing person and I know you and Kyle will have an awesome life together. What I failed to mention previously is Kristen's heart. When she loves, she loves deeply and she'll do anything for the people she cares about. I've seen her endure some very difficult things throughout her life. She's very aware of how fragile life can be. Yet through it all, she still believes in fairy tales. She's still willing to give her heart and trust that you'll guard it because in the end, love is worth the risk. <laughs>